Well, what's super rad is I'm mic'd up right now. So I'm just going to talk to you while I'm walking up the sidewalk. Um, dude, the first, the first year was like maybe the hardest shit I've ever done in my entire life next to watching my son go through open heart surgery, you know, because I was jumping into trying to start a business and dude, I was, had this combination of desperation and urgency where it was like, I'm desperate for a change in my life, but I'm also like willing to do the work it takes. Like I'm not looking for somebody to like give me a handout or do it for me. I'm just so fucking urgently wanting to change something for my kids and for my family. And, and, it, and it wasn't me, you know, it wasn't like, oh, I really need to have nicer houses and cars. It was literally watching my mom buy clothes for my kids on the first day of school because she knew I hadn't done it yet and couldn't afford to do it. There, there was this moment where I was just like, Josh, if you don't change something in your life, 30 years from now, your kid is going to be calling you, asking you if you can buy clothes for his kids. I, I understood just enough about like generational, like you can call it generational curse. If you want, really, I understand now it's, it's, I mean, dude, it's subconscious mind. Like this is the environment. These are the patterns. These are the cycles that we pass off to other people if we don't change it. So one of the things that I always say is that you either face your demons or you pass them off to your children to face. And so for me, it was like, dude, there is no way in the world I'm going to pass this off to my kids if it's something I could have fought. Like if it's something I can change, there is no way in the world I'm going to be okay with waking up and looking in the mirror and saying, dude, you could have done something about this and you just chose not to. And, and I would regularly envision my oldest kid, Dakota, who just graduated high school, which is crazy because this is the age I envisioned him doing this. I would regularly envision him walking up to me around 17, 18 years old and being like, Hey dad, why are we poor? And I am kind of the most honest human in the world. I don't really know how to be any other way. So I would just envision myself having to look at my son and say, the reason we're poor is because I was too afraid to do something different. And then I would imagine myself putting in the work and even failing. I always like to look at everything as like a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I literally give everything I have and it doesn't work, but I'm able to look my son in the eye and I'm able to say, Dakota, honestly, I don't know why we're poor because I literally gave everything I had. I gave my whole heart and soul to give you a better life and it just didn't work. So I wish I had something better to give you. But at this point, the only thing I can give you is the fact that I tried. And I was okay with that. I was okay with being able to tell my kid that I tried. What I could not live with was the regret of telling him I was too afraid to try.